So sooner or later, you're going to be raising your rates. Now, I know that some of you just heard that phrase and you said, what? I, I just got started. I, I'm not raising my rate. What are you talking about? Uh, trust me. Someday you're going to do it. And for new clients, that's going to be easy because they don't know what your old rates are. You just put new rates up on your pod, on your webcast and or your website and boom, you're done, right? But for the existing clients, how do you have that conversation? Hmm? We're going to talk about that in this episode of the VO Heroes podcast. So one of the courses in the VO Heroes Pro curriculum is Mastering VO Pricing. Uh, pricing is a, a cryptic kind of weird, uh, depending upon your relationship with money, kind of scary conversation to have. Uh, and in some cases, it's simply understanding what the numbers are. How much do you charge for a certain product? The prices that you'll see online, I want you to remember this. this is, if you don't take anything away from this podcast episode, take this away. The prices that the union sets for voiceover work, that uh, non-union uh, price lists like GVAA set for non-union work, etc., or recommend for non-union work, those are floors. Those are not the only prices that you can charge. So maybe you start off with those, or if you just don't have the, the confidence to charge what are standard or recommended rates, maybe a little less, don't go much too less, you know. Um, but eventually, you're going to gain proficiency, and you're going to gain a body of work that you can share with people as demos, and you're going to gain uh, a word of mouth, and you're going to be raising your rates, I know it's kind of hard to believe for some of you, but you are. And that means uh, a conversation with your current clients, the ones that come back to you time and time again. And I can tell you that the fear of that conversation keeps many voice talent from ever raising their rates. And that makes me sad because they're leaving money on the table. Their worth is a lot more than they think it is. And part of it is because they're concerned that if they raise their rates too much, they'll lose work. If they uh, raise their rates too much, people will think they're being egotistical or arrogant or who are you to raise your rates? Those are the kinds of things that go through people's heads. No one will ever pay for that. Um, and a lot of those things may be true. I'll just rip that bandage off. It may be true. But likely, it won't be true, even with your existing clients. I just had a conversation with somebody who provides services to me who said, yeah, I'm going to keep my rates the same for you because you've been with me for a long time. I'm like, no, 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 no. What you provide me in terms of support and value is worth the increase in your hourly rate. Please do that. And the person said, okay almost apologetically. And I want you to have that conversation with yourself before you have it with a client, if you need to. The phrase to use is, I'm raising my rates and I wanted to let you know about my new rate schedule. Say it with me again. I'm raising my rates and I wanted to let you know about my new rate schedule. This will go into effect at certain, certain date. I appreciate you being a, a supportive client and I look forward to working with you again in the future. You know, they may push back and say, oh, I can't afford that. You know, 10% increase? Oh, no. And so you have to ask yourself, is it worth having the conversation with them, maybe extending their rates a little bit as a last resort, but more importantly, having the conversation with them about the value that you provide to them. You're helping them sell their products and services if you're doing commercials. You're helping them keep customers satisfied and happy and informed and educated and using that product and service, especially if it's a subscription-based product or service, if you're doing explainer videos or how-to videos or audio versions of a manual, uh, you know, if you're narrating a, a, an animated uh, explainer video, uh, how-to how video. So the value that you're providing is often far greater than the price that you charge. And, except in certain cases, you're charging a one-time fee. Now, if you're, if you're doing union work and you're getting residuals, then you have a floor already, but there's no reason why you can't say to your agent or to a casting person, hey, 
I'm raising my rates. I have a lot of work to do, and these are the rates that I now am charging. You may lose work. You may. You may not. And won't that be nice when you get that first paycheck that's at a higher rate than what you ever thought you'd be charging? I want you to remember back to when you first started, and you didn't even know how to charge for your stuff. You didn't know what to do. You didn't know how to engage in the conversation or what numbers to use. Now you do. You have more experience. And when you think about those voice talent and on-camera performers that are making the big bucks, how do you think they got there? They raised their rates. And I want you to be able to do that as well. The conversation doesn't have to be long and drawn out. It could just simply be a statement from you. Think about the other companies that you've received information about raising your rates, their rates from, right? Hey, as of May 1st, we're raising our rates. We wanted to let you know. It's not, what do you think? Do you mind? You know, that that's not the conversation that's had. You set your rates. You're an independent contractor. You're a professional. And I want you to be at peace with getting what you're worth and not worrying that some of your clients may leave you because they might. Or that some of your clients may grumble because they might. Or some of your clients might say, well, it's about damn time. In a minute, I'm going to need a higher price. So think about that. Just think about that. And share with me in the comments below on VOHeroes.com what your thoughts are about how you approach your pricing, how you approach raising your prices, how you approach, if you feel you need to, uh, giving reasons why you're raising your rates. Often you just don't have to. It's like, you know, we've been doing this for a while and we're raising our rates. End of con uh, end of conversation. So tell me what you think about that. Tell me what, what happens inside your body. How do you feel when you hear, ah, I have to raise my rates. I want to raise my rates. I really want to raise my rates. Let me know in the comments below on VOHeroes.com. If you want to hit the like button because you like what you're hearing, that's great. Share it with a, another VO Heroes uh, client, your thoughts, and, and somebody who isn't with VO Heroes if you think they would benefit from this. Uh, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, uh, that'd be great. If you want to be notified, click the bell and you'll be notified when new episodes appear. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching and for listening. And I will see you in the next episode of the VO Heroes podcast. <laughs>